Welcome back. It's Wednesday, which means East Texas Locals is here. We're joined now by Gus and Ryan. Thank you guys so much for being here today. Thank you. Well, thank you for having us. So let's talk about your businesses. Gus, how about you go first? You got a couple of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Busy uh, week for you. <laughs> yeah, especially tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, I've been in the fireworks business for well, 20 years now. We have the fireworks crossing. Those are the buy some, get some free stands. Got my newest locations at my coffee stop. Yes. We just started the Cowboys Coffee Stop back in February. And uh, so we thought, man, that's a great place. So we put a firecracker stand there, too. The other two are on 346. One's at Flint there were 69 crosses. The other one's at the Wildcats Park there at the edge of the uh, White House. But how many fireworks you got? All of them? Yeah. <laughs> I run 32-foot beauties, and then I don't have... Uh, Mirror imaged is what the people in the fireworks business call it. You know, I have two windows and the other two windows have the same exact stock. I don't do it that way. I've got a different item on just about every row. So I've got plenty of selection. Prices are good. Buy some, get some free. It works best. The more you spend, the more you get free. There you go. And uh, if people still haven't gotten their fireworks yet, how late are you open today? Are you open tomorrow? I don't think I'll close until midnight tomorrow. There you go, you guys. Go and check them out. And then your coffee stop, too, if uh, people haven't heard of it. It's that cowboy hat there in Gresham. Yeah, I was going to say. No <laughs> looks a little that. familiar. Uh huh. Hey, well, you know, yeah. <laughs> ham it up a little bit. Hokey sells, you know. So I've been, I'm not really a cowboy, but I've been cowboying it up like crazy here lately. Uh, the hat has been there since 2006. We've had it since February this year. And uh, great coffee products, getting a great following. I want to thank everybody that's been coming in there and getting you coffees and your snow coat. We have snow cones. And we have tea and a bunch of, bunch of cool stuff. So come see us. There you go. And then, Ryan, tell me a little bit about your business. I own uh, All Natural Stone and Grass here in Tyler, located off of 155, half mile from the loop. We're one of the largest grass and stone suppliers in the East Texas area, have been for almost 20 years. And how has kind of being a part of East Texas helped each of you? Or East uh, Texas local? I was born too. and raised here. Yeah. Born and raised here. And so I'm very into supporting my local business. Uh, and trying to keep things local and supporting things local. And so when Lance came to me to become a part of this, I jumped on board. And I think it's a nice organization. And it, you know, it stands for what I believe in as far as keeping our business here local, taking care of our economy. Yeah, so why is it so important to shop local? I mean, we preach that on here all the time. Well, you know, when you keep your money in the local market, then you create more opportunity there here you in your local market. Nothing wrong with franchises and the national companies, don't get me wrong. Jobs. But, you know, whenever you're doing a business, you need more help, and so that's why you want to try to do all the, you know, all that you can. Try to, uh, and that's what we like about the East Texas locals. It helps you know who your neighbors are that are doing business, and so you can find what you want without having to, you know, go on the Internet and buy it from China. There, and speaking of which, I mean, aside from shopping at your local businesses, you guys have some events where uh, the community can meet you guys. One of the coolest things they got going on right now is uh, they're going to have a, a burger cook-off on July the 20th at the Waterman Fun Park. And it's being sponsored by the Texas Beef House. Those are fabulous folks. Find them on the Facebook and go see them. You'll see what I mean. And uh, so that thing there is going to be a great opportunity then for you to have some fun, cook a hamburger for a great cause. Uh, percentage of the proceeds are going to go to the uh, uh, Fisher uh, uh, Fishing for Heroes. Yeah, and then you guys got the Gander events coming up. Yeah, he's got that, and I think Ryan probably knows more about that than I do. Yeah, they asked me to host uh, the car show at yeah. Gander Outdoors. I will. A lot of people know me from Street Outlaws, my car, Team Roxy, and I've got a new car, the Urban Legend, we'll have there, and we're actually working on having some of the, my friends from the show, possibly bringing some cars to the show to help uh, support the local economy, and so it's going to be a nice event, family event. It's all family friendly. Um, we invite you to bring your kids, hang out, enjoy yourself, and uh, just support your local business. For sure. Where can people find more information about your businesses? Mine is WeSellGrass.com. Uh, we're Cowboys with a Z, Cowboys Coffee Stop, uh, and at the Facebook, and then also the Fireworks Crossing on yeah. Facebook. Yeah. We're on Facebook as well. There you go, and yeah. you guys can also check out East Texas Locals on Facebook as well. We'll come